applying functionalism to real-world issues, case studies, and examples. Imagine a city's intricate public transportation system, buses, subways, and traffic lights all working seamlessly to keep the city moving. Now, let's apply this real-world scenario to the sociological theory of functionalism. How do these various elements contribute to the stability of the urban environment, and how can functionalism help us understand and address real-world issues within our societies? This exploration is a guide for learners and students, illustrating how functionalism can be a powerful tool in dissecting and addressing complex issues. Consider the realm of education a cornerstone of societal structure. From a functionalist perspective, schools play a vital role in maintaining social order and stability. Take the example of a school in a low-income neighborhood. The manifest function is clear to provide education. However, functionalism prompts us to look beyond the obvious and explore the latent functions. In this context, schools may serve as more than just educational institutions, they can be crucial in breaking the cycle of poverty. By offering opportunities for socialization, imparting values, and preparing individuals for the workforce, schools contribute to the stability of the community. Functionalism encourages us to analyze how educational systems can be leveraged to address broader social issues, such as income inequality and social mobility. In the work place, functionalism helps us understand the division of labor and the interconnected roles that contribute to overall societal functioning. Consider a multinational corporation with employees from diverse backgrounds. From a functionalist perspective, each role within the organization serves a specific function, ensuring the smooth operation of the company. The manifest function is to produce goods or provide services. However, functionalism prompts us to examine the latent functions, such as the creation of employment opportunities, the establishment of hierarchies, and the fostering of a sense of belonging. By applying functionalism, learners and students can explore how workplaces contribute not only to economic productivity but also to social stability through employment and organizational structures. Applying functionalism to healthcare, we can analyze the roles within the system and their contributions to societal well-being. Consider a public health initiative aimed at addressing a prevalent health issue, such as vaccination campaigns. From a functionalist perspective, the manifest function is clear to promote public health. However, functionalism encourages us to delve deeper into the latent functions. Vaccination campaigns not only contribute to individual health but also establish herd immunity, protecting the community as a whole. By understanding the interconnected roles within healthcare, from healthcare professionals to policymakers, functionalism aids in comprehending how public health initiatives can be designed to promote both individual well-being and societal stability. Now, let's explore the criminal justice system. From a functionalist standpoint, this system exists to maintain social order and stability by addressing deviance. Consider a case where law enforcement investigates and prosecutes a series of financial crimes. The manifest function is to uphold the law and punish those who violate it. However, functionalism prompts us to consider the latent functions, such as deterring potential offenders and reinforcing societal norms. By analyzing the roles within the criminal justice system through a functionalist lens, learners and students gain insights into how these institutions contribute to the overall stability of society, albeit with ongoing discussions about issues like systemic bias and fairness. Functionalism also sheds light on social issues like poverty. Imagine a government implementing welfare programs to address economic disparities. The manifest function is to provide financial assistance to those in need. However, functionalism encourages us to explore the latent functions, such as reducing the likelihood of social unrest and creating a safety net that contributes to overall societal stability. By applying functionalism, learners and students can critically analyze the roles of government, institutions, and individuals in addressing poverty and its broader implications for societal harmony. Environmental issues, too, can be viewed through the lens of functionalism. Consider a community implementing sustainable practices to combat climate change. The manifest function is clear to protect the environment. However, functionalism prompts us to consider the latent functions, such as fostering a sense of community, promoting environmental consciousness, and contributing to the overall stability of the ecosystem. Applying functionalism to environmental initiatives allows learners and students to analyze how these efforts go beyond their explicit goals to shape the social fabric and contribute to the well-being of society. In conclusion, functionalism provides a powerful framework for learners and students to analyze and address real-world issues. By understanding the manifest and latent functions within various social institutions, from education and workplaces to healthcare, criminal justice, poverty alleviation, and environmental initiatives, functionalism helps unravel the complexities of societal structures. As learners navigate through these case studies and examples, functionalism serves as a guiding tool, revealing the interconnected roles that contribute to the stability and functioning of the broader social order.